Stuart, Hi. Graceland. So why Graceland? Uh, why not? <laughs> it's, it's only one of the, the best albums of, of all time, in my humble opinion. Um, it's, well, I'm a big, well, an, an unashamed Paul Simon fan. He's my biggest influence on my own music. And Chance came about 10 years ago to do a show in Leeds, uh, sort of recreating an album. And a friend of mine suggested, why don't we do Graceland? And that's that's kind of how that happened initially, and that was the the kind of the seed that this whole journey we've been on since has has come from, really. So, how how many times have you uh, actually performed this show then? Countless, I would say. <laughs> hundreds, hundreds. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of times, yeah, yeah. Do you find it a difficult album to to do? No, I've, I've no, uh, well, it's not difficult in the sense that most of the songs are 4-4 four, four and three chords. So, you know, on that level, the, the pretty simple songs. But when you start to look at the arrangements and how the songs are built, it is very complex. For me, I have an easy time because I just have to strum three chords and sing the songs and dance badly. Um, but our guitarists and... Everyone else apart from me has a, has a has a tougher time than I do. So I would say it's yeah, it's 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 a complex album to do when you start to unpick it, but it's very satisfying to do it justice because of that fact as well. I, I mean, this is an album which costs thousands to put together, yeah, but in, by Paul Simon, and you're they are performing it on stage, which I mean must take a, a considerable amount of skill it well it depends it depends on the band you have i guess <laughs> thankfully i've got says looking at the band <laughs> yeah i'm i'm very yeah i'm i'm blessed to have a, a bunch of musicians who are very very apt and also you know friends so that makes it i think if you got if you if you got a, if you can get a band who you essentially a good gang together, naturally, then that can uh, that can somehow sort of seeps into the way you play and perform. And thankfully, we have that. Um, so it's just been good fun. Every every time we do it, it feels like it's to me anyway. It feels like it's the first time playing it out. And does Paul Simon know about the album? About your you doing the album? I'm. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think he does, but I, you know, I haven't. I don't have his email, so I can't ask him. I wonder what it'll feel like if one day you look up and there he is in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know how I'd react to that. I've, I've kind of sort of played similar scenarios through in my head, and I'd like to think I'd be sort of at least have a veneer of, oh, it's Paul Simon, but I'll just you know that's nice, but. Ch chances are I'd probably be quite a big fanboy, in all honesty. I haven't uh, seen him around today, so I wish you well with the performance tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, looking forward to it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.